morning from Uluwatu, Bali. Uh, welcome to this fiery class. Um, in today's practice, expect a lot of cool and fun transitions, hip openers, arm balances, and just a lot of fun. We'll begin with a warm up, uh, sun salutations, and then we'll dive into a flow inspired by Ashtanga with some warriors and we'll wrap it up with some fun. <laughs> okay, when you're ready, I'll meet you on the mat. Uh, let's get into a tabletop position. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And from here, spread your fingers wide and feel your fingertips grabbing the mat as if you're trying to lift the mat off the ground and relax your fingers. So grab the mat with your fingers, really feel as if you're trying to scrunch it up and relax. Once more, just activating through the wrists, gently pull, hold, and now start taking circles over to the right. Articulating your wrist joints, trying to shift the weight over each knuckle and reverse the circles. Beautiful. From here, flip your palms, fingers towards the knees, fingers spreading wide. You can stay here if this is enough of a stretch or start leaning back and leaning forward, leaning back and coming forward. So it doesn't matter how far you lean back as long as you're getting a nice stretch in your wrists. Pressing the knuckles down, the thumb can lift off the floor when you lean back, that's okay. Let's do three, two, one. Very nice. From here, let's take a counter stretch for the wrist, come onto the tops of the hands. And once again, you can do one hand at a time and stay here or both hands together, staying here or leaning back. And let's just lean back and pause in the stretch. Beautiful. Let that go, shake out your wrist, do whatever you need. And let's take some cap cows. So drag your palms back, open heart gaze, up inhale. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more like this. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Open. Round. And let's start taking some fluid movements through the spine. For me, it means some circles, circles of the hips. For you, it may mean anything else, just something that feels good. So we're sort of abandoning the classical cat cows now and moving into a space of freedom, free movements, maybe some neck rolls, maybe some hip rolls, hip lean side to side. Just whatever you need. Let's take a few shrugs of the shoulders back and forward. Good, shake it off. And let's come back into tabletop. From here, you'll bend your right knee, lift the right knee off the floor and start taking some circles with the knee, drawing large circles. See if you can keep the weight in your right wrist or so you're taking these circles. Reverse. And we'll simply switch to the other side. So lifting the left knee up, pulling the heel to the bum and start taking those circles. See if you can keep the weight in your left wrist and your left fingers. 
And reverse. Release the left knee down. Extend the right leg. Extend the right arm up as you pivot on your left knee. Open chest, open lift through the leg. From here, release your right knee down, right palm down, pivot on your right knee. Extend the left leg, extend the left arm. And we switch, pivot on our left, extend, pivot on your right, extend. Your left, extend, your right, extend. So continue switching and really feel into the extension of the arm, of the leg. Feel what it feels like to fully extend, fully open up. Maybe you're starting to feel some heat build up in your glutes. That's what we want. Some activation. Gentle warm up for three, two, one. Stay on your left hand or your right hand. Now bend your top leg, pull the heel in towards your bum, catching the foot, kick the heel away from you. Let's find a stretch. Slowly release, pivot on the opposite knee and catch your foot, pull it in and kick it back. Buffing the chest forward, feeling the stretch in your shoulder. Very nice, let that go. Come onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift your knees off the ground, downward facing dog. Move it around a bit. You can bend your knees, pedal out your heels, walk the dog. Maybe lean one shoulder down, opposite shoulder down, just opening chest side to side. Lengthening through the side body. Good. Come back to neutral. Make sure your hands are actively pressing down. Find that activation through the fingertips. Length through the spine. Roll forward into plank through a rounded spine. Arch your lower back, press back, down dog. Inhale, rounds, coming forward. Exhale, arch, pressing back. Rounds, come forward. Arch, press back. Three more spinal waves like this. Two, one, come back to down duck, come back to your plank, lower knees to the floor, arch your back, bend your elbows, chest and chin to the ground. Inhale, baby cobra, bhujangasana. Exhale, Adam Mukhashwanasana, down dog. Hop to the top, let's come into a forward bend. Can step out your feet, hip width apart, grab opposite elbows, and sway side to side in your ragdoll. Bending your knees as much as you need. This is your first fold. Take it gentle. Then keep swinging side to side. And slowly, let's pause. And now shift your weight into your toes and float your heels one centimeter off the floor. Just float <laughs> and let that go. And now lift your toes off the floor, maybe coming onto your heels, balancing here, <laughs> and let that go. Good, fingertips to the floor, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, dive deeper and roll up to stand. Reach up. Hands at the heart center, bring your feet together. Samastitihi. Let's take a Sun Salutation A with a variation, with a little twist. Um, but, uh, but before we begin, let's bring our hands to the heart in prayer, Anjali Mudra. Close your eyes. And notice the heat that you've already started to build up into your body. Notice what it feels to flow, what it feels to be still. Uh, 
Let's take one ohm together to open our sun salutations. Inhaling for ohm. Oh. Open your eyes, reach your arms up, inhale, look up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Lengthen halfway. And exhale, hop back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, feet down. Look forward, this is where we put a twist on the sun salutations. You lift your heels, bend your knees, and take five tuck jumps to the top. So tuck jump. Simply bring the thighs to the chest as you hop and lower down. Hop and lower down. If you want to find some air time, feel free. Otherwise, we're just working on these gentle hops, gentle ends. I kind of lost count. Let's do one more and hop to the top to Malasana. One breath here, open chest. And exhale, grabbing your ankles, fold. Hmm, beautiful. Fingertips to the floor, bring your feet together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands at the heart. And release, samastitihi. We continue, inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Lengthen halfway. Hop back, chaturanga. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Plant your feet, now lift the heels. This time, we're going to take a wide hops. So you're hopping into a shape of a malasana. So you can bring your feet a bit wider, bend your knees, and as you hop, you open your knees out wide and find a hop there. Let's go for five, four, three. You'll land at the top in malasana, two, one, malasana. Deep breath in here, lengthen through the sternum. And exhale, fold. Hold onto your ankles, lengthen the crown of the head down to the ground. Inhale, lengthen halfway, fingertips to the floor, feet together. Exhale, fold deeper. And inhale, rise up, reach up, look up. Hands at the heart. And release. Last on A, reach up, inhale, exhale, fold. Halfway lengthen, inhale, exhale, chaturanga dandasana. <laughs> inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take some froggy hops, as I call them, or claps. The goal is to clap your feet and hop forward. So you're hopping forward, not up. You hop forward, clap, Land, forward, clap, clap, <laughs> land. So maybe there's two claps, maybe there's three. Maybe you can clap to infinity and beyond. Let's take two more. Last one, hop, malasana. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, fold. Hold on to your ankles, lengthen the crown down even further. And lengthen halfway, inhale, feet together. Exhale, dive deeper. Inhale, rise up, reach up, look up. Hands at the heart. Really, samastitihi. Sunday, let's go. Inhale, chair pose, look up, reach up. Exhale, fold. Lengthen halfway, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Reach your arms up, look up, warrior one. This time, a bit different to your traditional. Sun bees interlace your fingers. Behind your back, reach the knuckles down, open chest and fold. Oops, <laughs> to the inside of your right knee. Reach the knuckles up, tuck your chin. Maybe reaching the crown of the head down to the floor. Breathe. And let that go, release your hands, step back, chaturanga. Upward facing inhale, downward facing exhale. Step your left foot between your hands, 
rise up, reach up, look up. Exhale, release your arms behind you, interlace the fingers, open chest, fold to the inside of your left knee, reach the knuckles up, spread your left toes, right toes, feel the grip of the toes on the mat, lift your inner arches, lengthen through your shoulder blades, <laughs> to the front of the shoulders rather, and release your hands, step back, chaturanga, Upward facing, downward facing dog. Okay, five hops to the top. Land in Malasana. Any type of hop you wanna play on your tuck, your froggy hops, your Malasana hops, whatever. Let's take five, four, three, two, one. Land at the front. Inhale, exhale, plant your palms, step your feet in closer to each other. Let's take a crow pose. Your knees right above your elbows, shifting your weight forward, gripping the mat as if you're trying to roll the mat up. Three, two, one, release back to Malasana. Grab your ankles, lengthen through your spine, lengthen through your legs. Inhale, halfway, step your feet in, and let's rise up into chair, look up. Exhale, stand up, hands at the heart, and release. Catch your breath. Reach up, chair pose, look up. Exhale, dive down. Lengthen, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Right foot forward, reach up, look up. Interlace your fingers behind your back, open chest. And come into the inside of your right knee. Maybe crown of the head on the ground this time. Hold, three, two, one. Release hands, step back, chaturanga. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Left foot steps between your hands. Reach up, look up. Interlace your fingers behind your back, open chest. Come to the inside of the knee. Maybe crown the head on the ground, opening your arms away from you. And let that go. Hands down, step back, chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing dog. This time, five pike jumps, pike. You keep your legs straight, maybe shorten your dog, bring your legs together, bend your knees, heels high, up, release, hop, release. So it can be a very light, short hop, eventually stacking your hips over your wrists. And on your fifth one, hop to the top. My last one. One breath in, exhale, plant palms, second curl, fingers wide, heels high, bend your knees, bend your elbows, bring your knees right above the elbows, shifting your weight forward, hold your curl, four, three, two, one, let that go, fold, hold on to your ankles, lengthen down, Inhale, lengthen up, feet together. Rise up, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, reach up, hands at the heart. Release, beautiful. Take a moment here. And let's continue. We'll take half moon out of the Chandrasana. Let's bring the feet together, toes together, heels slightly apart, pull on the kneecaps, contract the thighs. Reach the arms up. Lift your shoulders up, interlace your fingers, release the index fingers up. From here, hips go to the left, fingers up and over to the right. Use your right hand to pull on your left to extend the top arm. Bottom arm, but slightly forward. Holding here, length, breathe into your left side body. For three, two, one, come up, beautiful. Reach up, hips to the right, fingers to the left. No space between the palms, no bend in the knees, no bend in the elbows. 
Keep lengthening to the side. Find lots of length and space in your right lung, right ribs. Three, two, one. Come up. Very nice. Bend your knees. Open through your chest. Look up and start looking up and reaching back. Look up, reach back, sit low. Lean your weight into your heels. Open chest. And slowly come up. Extend your legs. Keep your arms as they are. Reach up, hinging at the hips. Fold down. Grab your heels from behind. Padahastasana. Stepping onto your heels. Wrap the elbows behind your shins. Inhale, lengthen. Connect the belly to thighs. Bend your knees as much as needed. Exhale, fold. Crown of the head, reaching down. Shoulders away from the ears. And release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Step your feet out, hip width apart, or two fists apart. And let's take a different variation of Padangastasana or Padahastasana. Step onto your feet from the front. So gliding your hands underneath your feet and wiggle your toes here to massage your wrists. Really shifting your weight into your feet. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, fold. Shoulders away from the ears, crown of the head down. Shift your weight forward even more. Press your feet down even more. Palms up even more. Three, two, one. Let that go. Okay. From here, let's rise up into chair pose. Sitting low, reach the arms forward this time. Protract your shoulders. So reach forward with your shoulders. Sit down low. Sit down low. Low, low, low. Shift your weight back. Hold. Stand up. Good, keep your arms as they are. Lift onto your tippy toes, high, like a ballerina, and start sitting down low. Low, low, low. Lift your heels high, high, high. Three, two, one. Stand up, heels down, arms as they are. Last time, lift your heels halfway. Now bring your knees together. Awkward position through your legs. Start lowering down like you're in an elevator. And keep your knees below your hip level. Hips above the heels. Start bouncing up and down for five, four, three, two, one. Stand all the way up. Come into the tippy toes. Release the heels down. Release your arms down. Step your feet in towards each other. Find your breath in Samastitihi. Okay, chair pose again, this time feet together. Look up, reach up, and sit all the way down onto your bum. Navasana. From here, we'll come into low and high boat. As we lower down into low boat, arms go overhead. Low boat, high boat. Low boat, high boat. Low, high. Low, high. Low, high. <laughs> Good, let's go for five. Four, three, two, one. Stay low, bring your hands behind your head. Now pull your right knee in towards your chest. And now use your left hand to push the right thigh away from you to keep the right shoulder stacked. Find that active push, active burn. And start floating your left leg up and down, up and down. So keep twisting over. To the right, keep your shoulder blades lifted, especially your left shoulder blade. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Left palm pressing into the left thigh. Twist. Lift your shoulder blades high. Find that activation. Lift and lower through your right leg. Just a nice moment here. <laughs> nice burn. Let's go for five, four, three, two, 
One. Bicycle it out. Lift up through your chest and switch to side to side, side to side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll up into Malasana. Nice. From here, let's take another curl. Just to finish up this core warm up. This time, holding the curl as long as your heart desires. If you have any fancy variations of curl you want to work on right now, this is your moment. If you just want to rest in Malasana, this is also your moment. Taking a few moments here. And let's rinse it out with the flow. If you're still in your crow, hop back, chaturanga. Let's go upward facing, downward facing dog. Very nice. Hmm. Bring your feet together, heels up, bend your knees, up to the top, chair pose. Reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands at the heart. We twist over to the right, hook the left elbow outside the right knee. Gaze up, sit low. Shift your weight into your right foot now and start extending your left leg back and away from you. Find your balance. And step it all the way back, stay in your twist. And rise up, stay in your twist. Extend your arms and start a little tilting your way back, 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 maybe hand on a knee, left arm overhead. And we take a circle of the arms to open up, warrior two. Bend deeply into your front leg, sit low. Feel the strength of this pose, the power of this pose. Chopping off a head with this right arm, it's your sword. <laughs> nice. From here, extended side angle. Bring your left hand inside of your left foot or left uh, elbow on top of your, oh, sorry. Right hand down, right elbow down to the right thigh. And now extend your left arm up and overhead. Good. Look up towards your middle finger. Reach the arm up and over, find length through your left side body. Lots of extension. And with one circle of the arm, we transition into Krikonasana triangle pose. Adjust your stance if needed, maybe shorten the stance. And now grab your big toe with your peace sign fingers. Pull on the kneecaps of both legs, contract your thighs, and reach up, look up. Find a lots of length in your bottom waistline. Elongation. Tuck your right hip back a bit. Revolve, Trikonasana. Left hand goes down to the inside of the leg or to the outside of the leg for a challenge. Balance challenge. A bit more of an advanced variation of triangle. Reach the right arm up, look up. Twist above the navel, above the navel, and pull on the kneecaps to really contract the thighs. Hold. Release. Bring your hands down and walk the hands all the way to the back towards your left knee. Bend into your left leg. High skandasana. Bend into your right leg. So we're shifting side to side, opening through the hips. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk your hands forward. Come into a lizard and straight away reverse your skandasana. So turn your right toes forward, left edge of the foot on the floor. Reach your right arm back. Inhale, arm overhead, hips lift. Exhale, hips lower. 
Inhale, hips lift. Exhale, hips lower. Three, two, one. Come into lizard lunge. Release your left knee down. Reach your right arm back. Bend your knee, catch your foot from behind you. And this time we lean back into half splits. Lean forward into lizard. So you're extending your leg, rebending your leg. And it might not be a full range of motion. It might be a micro bend, micro extend. Could be all the way. You can even release your back foot if it's in the way. Let's go for three, two, one. Now this is your opportunity to deepen the bind, maybe lowering down onto your left forearm, maybe threading the right arm under to catch the foot. Breathing here. Three, two, one. Release your foot. Bring your hands inside of your right foot. And now step your left foot forward. Come to Malasana. From here, no more crows unless you want. Let's uh, grab your ankles. Extend the legs. Rebend the knees. Extend, rebend. Extend, rebend. Very good. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Extend, come into your fold and keep your feet wide in your malasana stance. And now bend your knees and wrap your arms around your knees to grab onto your head from behind. You can hold onto your ears, your face, back of the head. <sighs> Preparing for titibhasana. So shift your weight into your toes. Lengthen the tailbone up. And release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Second fold prep. Grab your arms to the inside of your ankles, shoulders behind your knees. Push actively with your hands into your ankles to tuck your chin. Active flexion through the spine. The knees can stay bent. I want you to round your spine. Work on this active flexion. Actively trying to connect your chin to your chest. Your chest wraps around the belly. Three, two, one. Release, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Okay, last one. This time we're doing full titipasana. You can take it with a bind or go straight to the arm balance. So I'll guide you through the bind to arm balance transition, bending your knees, arms go around. So you're, first of all, hands behind the ankles, shoulders inside your knees. From here, tuck your chin, wrap your right arm behind you, left arm behind you, maybe catching your wrists, your fingers. You can widen the stance. Keep tucking the chin to extend the legs. Extend the legs. And release. Hands down behind your feet. Lower onto your upper arms with your body. And maybe work on floating one foot at a time or both feet together. Maybe work on the extension of the legs. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Release your feet back down. Come back into your fold. Interlace your fingers behind the back. Open through your shoulders. Enjoy the stretch. Maybe flipping your palms out to enjoy a wrist stretch as well. Beautiful. Release your hands. Lengthen halfway. Exhale. Chaturanga. Taking your vinyasa. Back to down dog. We have the other side to flow, the other side to go. Lift your heels, bend your knees, hop to the top. Inhale, reach up, look up. Hands at the heart, twist to the left. Hook the right elbow outside the left knee. Look up. 
Shift your weight into your left foot. Extend your right leg back, step it. <laughs> Hover it first, finding your balance. And then step it back, stay in your twist. Lift up, stay in your twist. Open arms. Beautiful. Start tilting your way back, 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 back. Maybe hand goes onto the back leg. Reaching the right arm up and over. And windmill your arms. Open up, warrior two. Look past your middle finger. Once again, find that proud warrior shape. Powerful. Find, feel the energy through your arms. Let's go to side angle. Start tilting forward, hands to the inside of the foot, or bring your elbow on top of your thigh, reach your right arm up and overhead. Look onto your middle finger. <laughs> look past, look at what you're pointing at to find that extension. Side bend, side stretch. And one swing of the arm takes us to Trikonasana. Maybe grabbing your big toe with your peace sign fingers. Pull on the kneecaps, contract the thighs, look up. Twist above the navel. Find a gentle tuck of your left tailbone so your bum isn't sticking out. Keep reaching up, up, up. Reverse your Trikonasana. Pride palm plants down either inside the foot or outside the foot. Looking up. Twist, twist, twist even more, even more length. And slowly swing your arms down. Once again, Skandasana, this time low Skandasana, lowering all the way down to your right. Lifting your left toes up, lowering all the way down to the left, right toes up. You can stay with your hands on the floor or hands at the chest. We go side to side. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, come to the top, reverse Kandasana, extend your left arm back, arm overhead, dip your hips. Arm overhead, lift your hips, arm down, dip your hips. Go for three, two, one. Reach your arm up and over, come into lizard. Beautiful, release your right knee down, left arm back. Catch your foot. Start leaning back, leaning forward. Leaning back, extending your front leg and leaning forward, re-bend. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Re-bend the knee, option to deepen your bind. Lowering down onto your forearm, threading the arm under, catching the foot. Breathing here. Three, two, one. I'll add the right foot back. Let it go. Step forward. Malasana. Second, Titibasana. So, Titibasana, there are different arm variations, either bent elbows or extended. You can also play around with having your legs parallel or reaching up. So now, this is your opportunity to try the variation that you haven't tried before. Or if you're getting um, very excited about Titi Basana, you can also try a transition from Titi to Crow. So let's begin. Palms down. I'll show you the variation where you keep your torso parallel, legs parallel to the floor, arms bent, and then you can extend your arms. I'm a bit slippery, but for crow, you'll bend your knees, slide them back, and then shoot back, chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing. 
Very nice. Catch your breath. Hop to the top. Stand up. Left hand on the hip, right hand grabs the big toe. From here, uh, we'll work on extended hand to big toe, Tita Parangustasana. Work on extending your leg to the extent available while maintaining your shoulders over your hips. Strong supported leg, standing leg. You can extend the top leg, go ahead. Now open the leg out to the side. Close, switch hands, using your left hand to grab the outer edge of the foot, extend your right arm back. Hold, twist, maybe look back. Now come back forward. This time your left hand goes outside, or your right hand goes outside the left edge of the foot. You pull the leg in towards you. And, and Release the leg, keep your arms up. Leg up, arms up, leg up. Hold, hold, hold. And swing the leg back, warrior three. Hold an extension through your arms, through your legs. And step your right foot back, warrior one. Hold your warrior. One more breath, and then hands, hands to your heart. We twist to the left, hook the right elbow outside the left knee. You're in a twisted warrior one. And let's take revolved side angle, planting your right palm down, left arm up and over. Holding here, or maybe wrap your left arm behind the back, right arm underneath for a bind. Holding here. Three, two, one. Release your hands down and let's take pyramid pose. Extending your front leg, lengthen the spine over your left leg and fold. Maybe take an arm variation wrapping, uh, bringing your hands in prayer behind your back. Looking forward. Beautiful. Release, plant your right palm down, grab your big toe with your peace sign fingers with your left hand, roll onto the right edge of your foot, Vashistasana. Step your left foot behind you, wild thing. Look at your left fingers, Vinyasa. Upward facing, downward facing. Hop to the top. Utida hasta parangustasana, other side. Right hand onto your waist, bend your left knee. Strong standing leg, extend your left leg forward. Open the hip out to the side. Bring the leg back to center. Hold onto the outer edge of the foot. Extend your left arm back. Look back. Come back forward, twisted grip. Left arm goes over the right. Pull the leg towards you. Hold. And now keep your leg lifted if possible. Arms up, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Swing the leg back, warrior three. Arms forward, leg back, arms forward, leg back. Three, two, one. Step back, warrior one. Hold your warrior. Deepen the bend into your right knee. Now bring your hands at the heart. Twist to the right, left elbow outside the right knee. From here, revolved side angle. Left palm plants down, right arm overhead. Look up. Last variation, wrap the arm behind your back. 
Take your bind. Gently release. Let's come into pyramid pose. Hands on either side of the foot. Extend the front leg. Maybe shorten your stance. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, fold. Maybe bring your hands in prayer behind your back. Hold. Breathe. Three, two, one. Left palm down, grab the big toe, your peace sign fingers, extend the leg up, Vashistasana. Step your right foot behind you while. And take your vinyasa. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Palms a bit wider apart if needed. We're going to jump through to a fold. Lift your heels, bend your knees, up through. Come onto your bum. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Let's grab big toes with the peace sign fingers. Lengthen forward with your chest. And exhale, bring your chest even closer to your knees. Forehead down, reaching the crown of the head to your thumbs. Flexing the feet, even at the pinky edge. Breathing deeply. Inhale, lengthen. And release. Let's take uh, Kurmasana. So we have already worked on this standing. So Kurmasana or tortoise pose is Titipasana, but on the ground. So let's bring the feet mat width apart, and then you'll work your hands behind you, shoulders behind the knees, and work on flattening yourself down, palms down. This could even turn into an arm balance as well, where you press your palm down so much, chin down so much that you can lift your legs off the floor. <laughs> Breathe. Either in the balancing variation or just in your fold, hold. And release. Slide your arms out of your legs. Now let's take a straddle. Fold. I'll turn this way. Open your legs as wide as you need, or as wide as you can. Lengthen here. Maybe staying here, tailbone facing back. Or maybe you can start folding forward, gently coming to your depth. Maybe you can lower all the way down onto your chest. Lying here. If you like, you can take a variation where you grab your big toes with your peace sign fingers here. And slowly rise up. And let's close our legs. Good. Bring your legs forward. And from here, bend your right knee outside your left knee. Right arm behind the back, left arm reaches up. Inhale. Exhale, we twist Ardha Matsindrasana. Maybe hand goes to the heart. Now this is a variation of side crow. You can 
come onto your hands, bending your knees, lift up, side crow hold. You can take a eagle bind with your legs here and release. <laughs> Other side. Extend your right leg, step your left foot outside. Inhale, left arm behind the back, right arm reaches up. Exhale, twist. Staying in your twist, or once again, taking a side crow on this side. I like to bend my right knee, plant my right foot down first to lift my hips, and then lean forward. It's a lean forward to lift up, maybe eagle bind with the legs. And let that go. Good. Really shake out the legs. Let's lie down onto the back for shoulder stand. So release, uh, remove any buns or hair ties so your neck is free. Roll onto your back, lift your legs up, shoulder stand. Reach up through the toes. Gently release your legs behind you. Plow pose, halasana. Coming onto the tops of the feet. From here, bending your knees. Deaf man's pose. Squeezing your head with your knees. Back to plow. Support your lower back to start lowering down. And now flatten your palms down. And let's come into fish pose from here. So roll your spine all the way down onto your palms. Lift your chest up, propel yourself up, release the crown of the head back. Chest up, head back. Breathe in your Matsyasana fish. Push your elbows down into the floor, tuck your chin, then lie down onto your back. Time to take any last posture that your body craves, or simply go straight into Shavasana. Allowing your whole body to relax and melt into the floor. Whole body is at peace, at ease. Feel free to stay in your Shavasana as long as you like, five to 10 minutes or longer. Otherwise, let's start wiggling fingers and toes. Reach your arms up and overhead. Bend your knees, roll onto your right side. Coming into fetal position. And rise up into a seat. Bring your palms at the heart center, bowing down your chin towards your chest, chest up to the chin, finding length through the whole spine. Let's seal off our class with the sound of Om. Inhale. Om. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for your beautiful practice, for dedicating this time for yourself, for your well-being. Hope you have the most amazing day. Namaste. If you like this video, please don't forget to comment below. Let me know how you found it. Uh, also share this video with your friends, family, whoever likes yoga. And I hope to see you again soon on my channel. Thank you.